Happy Wednesday, everybody. Last week when I left you, we got the back corner here clean, the lathe set up, and the miter saw table set up. The wall's clean, got my new lathe rack up. Now, let's move to the back wall. We're gonna redo it. Also, we're gonna work on the workbench today. I'll show you what's going on with my workbench. So although I like the size of my workbench, I don't like the bottom underneath. The reason being is it's not actually the right size for the tabletop. The tabletop was given to me, so I just set it on top of another workbench that I made. The workbench table on the top is three foot by five foot, and I want to make it match with the bottom base. The bottom base on it now is a two foot by four foot on casters, which will be a workbench in itself for my router table but we're gonna take the top off of this one and make a workstation underneath it to make it match. We're gonna keep the same. What I wanna do is measure off two feet, which will be the width of the bottom side of the bench, and we'll cut off four pieces for the sides. Four more pieces for the length of the table, which is five feet or 60 inches, but we gotta take away three inches for the two by fours we cut for the side. So we're gonna measure this off at 57 inches and cut four more uh, at that length. The floor to the top of this table, which is the same style of workbench we're building, is what the old countertop was sitting on, or the old workbench top. This one measured off at 34 and a half inches. So what we need to do is cut the legs at 31 inches, which will give me the same height as I need for this one. Now that we got all the pieces cut out for the workbench, I've got them on this table. We're going to put the workbench top back on the old one upside down so we can have a good work area to be able to assemble what's going to be underneath it. Four legs will be glued and screwed together to make the four by four leg post.
Finally got it done. So I added pegboard on the side to be able to hold my scroll saws. Underneath on the bottom, we've got separated out lumber and specialty woods, exotic woods. Place for my scroll saw for whenever it's not in use, so the workbench would be able to be free for anything else I'm working on. So if we go around, we've got this wall straightened out, and across the back wall straightened out. So what happened to all the junk? Next week we'll move over to the right wall. Always remember, be kind to one another.